hi all today we are going to discuss about how to how to import ap invoice in e business the ap invoice we are getting from oracle e-commerce xml gateway uh, i procurement the procurement card like uh, credit card transactions lease payment lease payment man, man property manager or custom uh, from custom system also for a touch point system also we will get that invoices and import it into e business so may the source may be in any ways but all invoices should be imported in, in the interface table ap invoices interface ap invoice lines interface this is header table this is line table once the data is populated or inserted here we can submit that payables open interface import program and load the data into base table at the payable table like ap invoice ap invoice lines interface or distribution table like that here one more one more thing we need to check we, we need to remember it here duplicate invoices concept like same invoice number the same invoice number same supplier same site uh, if we for a invoice number supply supply on site is site one invoice same supplier same invoice same supplier same site if once it is created if you try to create again the same this this system will not allow because so this is duplicate invoices but in the scenario other scenario the invoice number is same supplier is same different site we can create it the system will allow to create that invoices so this is the things we need to uh, remember it then uh, we need to populate the data for ap invoices interface ap lines interfaces we are, we will discuss we, we will discuss about what are the mandatory fields to populate it in these tables one is invoice id the invoice id in by invoice id we can populate it from sequence invoice sequence is there ap invoice interfaces sequence from here we can populate it invoice id ap invoice lines interfaces sequence this is we can populate from invoice line id so this id and uh, invoice line id we can populate it then invoice number the as per the uh, we can give the unique invoice number that uh, vendor id vendor site id uh, vendor id vendor site this id and all we can populate uh, supplier id supply site id we can populate it from ap supply sites all table the invoice currency also we can populate from supply sites all table the invoice date the default uh, the system will recognize this date as invoice date if we are not po if, if 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 we want to change that invoice date to any of the custom date we can hard code that invoices invoice date while we are inserting data into interface table then pay group also we can we can get it from uh, IAP supply side cell table source the source is nothing but as we discussed these are the invoices sources these sources already we should be defined in the system the source we can populate it from AP lookup codes this is the table we can get it we can get it all invoice sources so for my testing purpose i am going to take it for manual invoice entry so org id is site id uh, these are the field we need to use it then some of the additional column also there this is optional columns like um, term id the term id term num will the term id populated from supply sites all that uh, payment method could also populate from supply sites all if we po if you want it we can pass it if you are not passing it will populate it from supply sites all one pay group code also defaulted from supply sites account pay code combinations this is nothing but liability account um, this exchange rate exchange whenever we are using cross currency for ledger currency and the transaction currency is different for example this is a ledger currency this is a transaction currency if both are different we should be populated this the exchange date exchange rate exchange rate type these details we can get it from gl daily rates table the distrib uh, here 
This is the header level we can discuss it. Now we can discuss about line details. This invoice ID sequence invoice ID we can get it from this invoice ID. Invoice line ID as we discussed before the line sequence we can get it. Line number we can give it to one sequence one two three like that. Line type here line type is three more than three type is there like we are going to discuss only three. The item this is item level a tax level or freight level. So and then invoice line amount. Eh? Then invoice distribution code combination ID. This is nothing but clearing account. The here account pay code combination is populated from supplier side sale table. So these are the mandatory fields. This is the mandatory mandatory fields. Uh, we are going to use it in AP interface table under lines table. So we will show some demo. Simply, I have considered one supplier. Say so, M Kashan's uh, General Medical. Just to query it. These are the uh, fields I am going to use it in interface table. So take that AP invoice interface. Get line ID. The line ID sequence ID I am using. Uh, invoice number is just to change it to seven. Some invoice number. Then vendor ID, vendor site ID. Here vendor ID, vendor site ID populated. Vendor ID, vendor site ID. Then invoice amount time. Invoice currency is USD. Then invoice date. I have now I am going to I am going to hard code this invoice number. Invoice date. Then invoice descriptions, then pay group. The pay group is standard. Then source invoice source is manual invoice entry. Two not four is org. Then the same level invoice ID line ID. The current value. Whenever you say in the same session, the sequence next value and the current value we can populate it. So first we will insert this one. So we can this this record will greater. Then the same value we are going to use it here. Then invoice lines interface. Interface. Um, then line number. This is invoice type lookup code. Here I am using item. Then invoice amount. Eh? Then clearing account. One two. This clearing account. We will get it from this table. A GL code combination ID. You can give that uh, code combination ID as a distribution code co distribution code combination ID. So, just inserted this record. Inserted header inserted. Lines inserted. Just committed. One more thing, we can check it whether this is this is these are validations. We can do all the validation before inserting. Just to know, I am doing some basic checkup for that. Like whether the invoice is already exist for that same vendor, same vendor vendor site ID. So no data found. So no invoice is already not created. So check that. Get that invoice ID. This is the invoice ID. Check that interface table. It's there. It's also there. Here, if any of the invoices error error out or while importing any validation, any importing do some system will do some basic validations. If anything is getting failed, the data is populated AP invoice interface rejections with the rejection reasons. So, um, I'm trying to import that invoices now. Source you know, give the invoice source. He give the we can give the specific operating unit also. Here I am give it null. Only use the invoice invoice entry. Then patch name is give the patch name. Just and this patch is already I have created. For the patch I am going to attach these invoices. Invoice batch is nothing but we can create group of invoices. Uh, group of invoices for the particular suppliers for supplier site. 
the invoice the patch is already created so give the summary report also yes in the purges if you give purges purges yes once the invoice is imported the data will be deleted from interface table the for successful records submitted program is completed yeah we, we this is summary report this is the invoice patch name source we are giving one invoice is fetched and one invoice is converted this fetched invoice is converted we can check it in back end hmm. the invoice is not invoice is here so the status should be processed if the status is processed means the invoice is converted so we can get it that uh, we know the we, we give the patch id okay batch number this is the invoice give the invoice number and uh, this patch id So, invoice also created. Check the whether invoice lines is created. Invoice lines also created. Check the distribution record is there. So, distribution record is not there. We can check it in front end. env 107 so yeah same supply same supplier site invoice date invoice number and everything is populated gl date is the invoice date default payment currency this few records is defaulted from site level this if you are not populating this and all populated from site level so checking line so lines there check the distribution so distribution also there here one one new new thing is we can able to see the inverse distribution in front end but the same way we cannot able to query it in back end the reason is while the open payable while the import program just imported the header and line the distribution is in this preview mode when the, in this preview mode we cannot get we cannot get it in interface in distribution table if we are do the saving if they give the save the distribution the the the, 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 the status should be to saved whenever we can save it in manually we can get it the uh, record in this distribution table if you think if you don't want to uh, if in the in the import program it's imported bulk of invoices so that the case we cannot open this distribution record and each record we cannot we, we should not save it this is this is unnecessary work so for that we can the, we can uh, do the invoice validations whenever you are, you are running here one thing never validated still the invoice is not at all validated never accounted approval is approval is not record just to click it and give the validated so just whenever we you submitted the uh, you submitted the invoice validation then the pop the distribution records are populated so here the all distribution records are populated here one more thing he need revalidation some validations are validations uh, yeah, throw some error we can check that hold them uh, your line variation total invoice lines does not equal to invoice amount 
so here the tax is calculated so we are giving only the invoice amount we are not calculated tax so you can change that invoice amount to 21.2 Zero to zero. Need revalidation. We can check it some back end uh, back end table also. Once the invoice once the invoice is imported, the invoice invoice all invoice lines all and uh, AP payment schedules all table also. The three once the three tables, this table and the lines table, invoice table, the three tables populated the data once the invoice is imported. Once the validation is done, the AP invoice distributions also per data will be populated. So <coughs> as of here need revalidation. Revalidation is a record. So in the meanwhile we can check it in um we can check it in uh, SLA tables so invoice we know the invoice ID check any so once the validation is once the invoice validation is done the data is populated in this AP distributions as well as SLA event once the event will be created so check the entity id just to copy the entity id event also event event is created then we can check that header we know the here the event id is there copy the event id so event so uh, the header the header is the header is the header is not not populated so as of now this table the event table under the event is there, the the S XLA the SLA when it comes into the picture once AP um, once the invoice validation is started then the SLA tables comes into the pixels so do the revalidation So invoice is validated. Next, still it is not accounted. Once we are started to uh, create accounting program, that time only the <coughs> Excel A headers and the lines, these and all uh, these tables and all populate the data. Here accounting. here the account event id is there this account event id yeah this account id and this account event id also same we can uh, yeah in this transaction entity is there right in this this is source id integer only this is nothing but invoice id we can get to that invoice number also this is invoice number this and all excel is table the excel table only the transaction number is having that invoice number the entity source is ap invoices uh, payments and so many so many fields is there for that one i have hot coded by application id and uh, entity code for populated that for getting that details so the same entity also here created i have checked the headers and a lines the data is not populated now we'll go and create that account create accounting program just to create account program just i'm running final
so account add check that accounting entities yeah hit the final I posted through final one this is descriptions we can find the description and what are the invoices is posted for this one pay site name we can find the supplier name and the invoice details and the supply side details invoice date everything we can able to see here here this is liability account this account is nothing but a pay account pay code combination this is populated from ap supply side sort this is item expense this is nothing but the distribution account uh, we can we have discussed uh, we we, we uh, as we discussed about this is uh, like a um, clearing account or experts account we can call so again come and check this one copy the admin event id and check it here yeah invoice is validated now the data is populated here so copy the copy the header id put it here query it one so four line will be uh, here only four lines will be created four line was created for item level two three tax so three tax line it's populated and uh, item type also i only need item under two is liabilities another is nana tax so we can see all the details here after that as of now the xla is over sla then here after we can submit that uh, uh, gl import uh, gl import program so those uh, what are the we have posted from sla to it is populate it, it is posted into gl tables so we can discuss uh, these things is next one so this is a successful scenarios for if anything is error out for example um same again we can try to create try to create the same invoice number we can check that other issue scenario so same invoice number yeah one more thing we can check it in account at yeah before that it is preview mode now it is saved whenever it is saved the data is populated in the distribution table so next one we can do the duplicate scenario just to insert that invoice now we have insert the same invoice and uh, for the supplier side we can check that one So get that new invoice ID. Checking Is there. successful one the invoice interface this is successful invoice for successful one the AP interface rejections data is not populated so now we can submit that same program AP import program manual patch name them this is yes submit
program is completed okay yeah here it is stating that the duplicate invoice duplicate invoice number invoice number for the supplier a party site already exist so how so same invoice number is there so throwing error so how can you so we can do the we can do the update in the back end or we can query the same invoice in this interface table go to the interface table give the invoice number is c p n b 107 sorry c p n b 107 so we can check that this is yeah this is the open interface also we can correct that invoices in this front end screen whenever they throw the exception yeah one is rejected this is a rejected invoices So check in check in back end. This the must number. Yeah. Yeah. Rejection code. This a uh, okay. Here it is there. Here the rejection invoices is populated here. The rejection lookup is duplicate invoice number. So if you want to reprocess the same invoice, we can update that we can update that um, the status to null here status is null and the change the invoice number to 8 then so invoice is corrected so now we can change that supplier example supplier id supplier site id so this is combination is already there we can change it some give it some junk value one two three four yeah again submit that program then yes from computer yeah invalid supplier inverse supplier site so for that we have changed that invoice now so this is also throwing error so check that back end invalid supplier site so the same pro the same way we can check we can change it for invoice source so we can do one, one more testing
correct that invoice supplier site supplier site is one four three six one four yeah put it query Query change the site one four three six eh? remove the status again. Source also updated source. So if we change that, the problem is if we change the source uh, in the source, if the source be, the source will not populate here, right? Yeah. If we change the source, if, if at what time the invoice is not at all getting uh, uh, getting pop uh, getting fetched means. If the source is changed, for example, we are we are putting manual invoice entry, but if we have updated some other invoice invoice source means the invoice line the this invoice details not at all not at all uh, fetched for that invoice if input one, so changing the invoice source is it's a very different one. So now. We corrected the details and change the pay group. Pay group also we can change it to one. Submit the program. Yeah, invalid pay group. So then we can check the back end. Yeah, invalid pay group. So these are the invoices error will come. We can go and uh, check it in front end also. We can rectify that issue. Copy that invoice, but think the rejected is the rejected one. Status 
change the original one save it you can run it here now you can put it per this yes we can check it whether the record the imported record is getting error getting deleted or not So invoice is successfully imported. We can check that uh, interface table records. Yeah, it is deleted. Once it is imported, it is deleted. We can check that invoice whether it is created successfully. Yeah, it's created. is created we can check it in front end C I N B 108 yeah it is created just for time being open it it is review mode so that's why it is not power. the record is not here just to click it save it is saved cut it yeah the record is there all record is there so still the event ID is not created okay so whenever you are creating whenever you are submitting that yeah for it and then you need revalidation yeah, even it is created here. It created. Yeah, he also created. So we can correct uh, how the invoice is create, uh, corrected before that one like uh, tax details and all we then we can proceed further. So as of now we have discussed about how to uh, debug uh, uh, AP invoice import program and how it is hit in the SLA tables. Uh, next next session uh, we can discuss about how the invoice is going for approval and how to improve how to approve it through AME1 so thanks for watching my video thank you